Yeah, so <clears throat> this lesson we're going to add another huge pile of information in one single lesson, but I hope you can follow along. Uh, so what's my goal this lesson? Well, I want to be able to uh, delete. So I want to be able to use this MD button right here. Let me just uh, show you where that's at in the actual view. And uh, da -da -da -da. thinking McThink. Okay, there we go. So here's the actual view and when I do the edit that you guys have seen a lot of times now, the delete button is right here. So I want to do, when I press that guy, I want it to actually not delete. I want it to pop up and ask me, are you sure you want to delete it? Then I want it to send a delete to the server to actually delete it. And then I want to be told, congratulations, you deleted it. Go back to the main page and actually show it in the view that it's deleted. So that's a lot of steps, but that makes sense. So I want delete, pop up, yes, I want delete, boink, it's deleted. Okay, that's the goal here. And that takes a few steps, so we'll do this in a few lessons. I know we want the update, but we're actually doing an update this time, so we will kind of update. Okay, let's um, go in here. And we, we I didn't change anything here. I pointed it at the ng click called delete week plan. It sends in a week plan that it wants to delete, and it sends in the event. Now, I don't need the week plan in here, but we'll use it anyway, just to show you. So when I press this guy, it should delete the week plan. The reason I really don't need him is because I already have him right here in the editing week plan. How did I do that? Well, if we go up and look at the, yeah, let's just go into the controller. Have a look at the, the edit week plan function. It actually sets the current week plan that we want to delete right here. Okay, so I already have the week plan I want to delete. Anyway, I'm sending in a week plan and an event. So let's just save that for now. When I press this button, I'm going to use something called an MD dialog. And you pretty much hopefully already guessed who that is from. If not, let me just wait a second. Keep the tension. Okay, it's from Angular Material. So let's have a look at Angular Material and see what they provide for us if we want a dialog. And you know what? Dialogs is actually rather complex to build and to work with in uh, in bootstrap for instance you can try and play around with it but it is rather complex so i add the dialogue right here just popping up saying i'm sure uh, let's just have a look at that there we go uh, so here are some different dialogues i can do an alert dialogue i got it fair enough confirm dialogue that's what we are going to use please do it please delete my thing prompt dialogue etc etc and if we open this guy right here, we'll actually be able to see all the code behind it. So this is how we make dialogues and we need to look at the, in this case, we actually need to look at the JavaScript behind it, not only the HTML. And here's how we do an MD dialog.show and then it pops up an alert dialog in our case. So you can copy all of this code. What you'll notice is I need to use MG dialog inside my controller. So I'll just copy this, do a copy and go back here because I need to do a injection, a dependency injection up here to use the MG dialog down here, right? So you will see I'm using it here, but remember you always need to dependency inject it if you're using it somewhere or you'll be notified that this guy is not available when you do the actual press the button. So I save this. And the rest of it, you can go in and read about it if you want to. But I'm just to give you an overview, I'm making a title here. I'm saying I want to confirm dialog. And then I'm making the title, giving some content information, adding a delete label. I'm saying what event I'm actually targeting right here. And then I'm saying, where do I want to open it? Right now, it says left. Let's try to write right instead. Oh, shit. Let's try to write it in the correct way. Right. Save that. And then it says two things. It's okay if I do please do it button and it'll cancel if I do no, I changed my mind. And we can write anything in here. So then I'm, I have the confirm dialog ready actually to use. And then I'm using um, MD dialog show to actually pop up with the dialog. And then I will do the function if it's okay. I'll do this function and we'll get that in the next lesson because a lot of things are going on here. I just want to show you, this is how you use the MG dialog. So now you know that. And in this case, 
then I'll do this and I won't be another then because if I press cancel I just want the dialog to close down and it automatically does that. Let's just save this for now and see that it actually runs. I'll open my code again, uh, sorry my view again. I'll press the local host, I'll press the edit button, noink, I'll press the delete button and hopefully a dialogue will pop up. Boink! Are you sure you want to do this? Uh, no, I changed my mind. Because we haven't completed this yet. But notice, you get the effect of fading out and everything is actually up and running. So that's how we do the delete part. In the next lesson, we'll try and actually make it delete this week. See you next time.